Hi, John here and I've got an unboxing video. Um, I will start by saying this is the second one I've done of this because the first one the sun was sat behind the camera and he kept wanting to look at the items um, and then he was asking loads of questions. Um, it took about 25 minutes to go through the box so I thought I'd... I did film it um, I've not shown him but he was there so he thinks it's been filmed I thought I'd do a quicker one so I'm gonna go for it again this was a trade box from the peep geek so it's not exactly in the order it was done but um, I'll do my best I think everything has gone back in it unless it's hid something somewhere so we have a note. My dearest Johnny, this box is greatly overdue and I'll and I'm sure it will be the first of many to make it your way. It's just a small token of appreciation to thank you for your friendship, support and brotherhood that has been since joining the YouTube community nearly two years ago. I have had I have added a few things for your son that I hope he can enjoy or grow into and maybe something that you can do together. Thanks a million, Paul. PS I know you said no nuts or sour, so maybe eat them yourself. Enjoy the fish, those are from Marie. And then he's put not at the end. So I do know what's in here, but thank you very much for that really kind note. And it is in a totally different order to how it should have been opened, so we'll go through and I'll tell you the reactions that some of the things got. We have a Superman cape for my son. That is awesome. He loved that. As soon as he saw that, he saw the logo. He was like, Superman, Superman. So. That's definitely going to be most welcome by him. So thank you very much for that. That was really kind of you. I'm trying to think where I can put things there. Um, we have a t-shirt. Which is a Deadpool taco surprise. And that is a Marvel licensed t-shirt. So that is really cool. Thank you very much. We have some teeth, so I can look like Austin Powers. Uh, we have some biscuits, banana flavour, orange flavour, strawberry flavour, um, vanilla cream and a chocolate cookie with vanilla cream. So thank you very much for those, look forward to trying those. Pop Rocks candy, popping candy. Um, really cool. We do have a version of this over here, but I'm not sure if it's the same. So it's going to be good to try something similar and see what the tastes are. We have True Lemon, um, basically five sachets of powder to make your own lemonade. Um, peach lemonade. So I'm going to get some bottled fizzy water and put that in with that and give that a try. So thank you very much for that. Um, I think my son will enjoy that because he does like lemonade. We have two packets of, che of Cheez-Its. We do have something similar to these. So it'll be nice to again try them and see if they're the same or different. So thank you very much. Have some sweets, some boogers, a bag of booger sours, and some gummy crabby patty candies. We have, we do have, we have had similar things to these in the past. Um, they were made by a company called Trolley, and they would do trolley hot dogs and trolley burgers, and I think they do pizzas. It's all the same sort of gummy stuff. So, thank you for those. Look forward to trying them. 
we have a bag of Reese's pieces, Reese's resting pieces and caramel apple cups. Not tried the resting pieces or the apple cups, caramel apple. So looking forward to trying them. Thank you very much. We have some Johnsonville hickory smoked bacon jerky, which I have tried beef jerky and I didn't like it. I just couldn't get on with it. It made me feel bad. I just didn't like the taste, but I do really like bacon. So I'm hoping that that's really, really nice. So I will try them. And so will the little one, because he likes bacon. We have a Punisher decal sticker, which is cool. Thank you very much. We have an item for my son. He absolutely loved this. And that was the Laser Pegs Builder. Um, I think the age group, when Paul sent to me, it's just a little bit over his age. But it's fine because we'll go through that and do that with him. So we got around there. So that is really cool. That's a dragster. It's similar to Lego except it lights up. So really looking forward to doing that with him. There is a poster which was DC and. I did open it partly, I think it's Justice League, as it's got a lot of the Justice League characters in there. Um, I didn't want to open it again, because um, I've not got much space where I'm sat. So thank you for that as well. I'll look at getting that in his room somewhere. Um, go on to these next, I'll just move that. We have a... 1996 scoreboard 23 karat gold trading card which is Star Wars Shadows of the Empire and that is number six, uh, 8472 of 10,000 that is really cool I do like that and there's the back that is um, Graded at a 10. Um, similar to the ones, the one that um, Leapy and the Sprogs sent me. So that is awesome. I've now got two. But what's better than two? Three. So we have a 1996 scoreboard 23 karat gold Star Wars card featuring IG88, Zucas. Bosk, Forlom, and somebody called Boba Fett. Can't remember who he is. So that is the Star Wars Bounty Hunters edition. And on the back it says what species they are, what sex they are, and their height their home world, their vehicle of choice. So that is cool, do like that. Thank you very much for those. That is really good that I've now got three cards from the same sort of collection. Thank you very much, really, really love them. That will go well. I'm not gonna put them on display though, as the sun comes through that way and I don't want them there. So I will keep them um, in somewhere safe where I can see them and look at them every so often so again thank you we have a Walking Dead Sonica Martin Green as Sasha Williams authentic costume relic and that is a piece of her t-shirt and the first thing I always do with these is give them a feel so that is really cool and there's the back so thank you very much really like that and I had looked at some of them on eBay before and I was close to buying some several times 
but then I just sort of found something else that was a bit more of a need, so I got that instead. We then have from a Fright Crate Sleepaway Camp. It's just a little bit smaller than a postcard, and it is signed by Felisa Rose, who played Angela, I think it was. So that is cool. Paul showed me a photo of that, um, saying, are you interested in this? And I says, yep, yeah, yeah, I'm really interested in that. Not seen the film, but I will try and watch it at some point. But I did like how it looked. This item was in the band box um, several months ago now. Um, there was this Charlie and the Chocolate Factory version. Signed by Deep Roy. There was also a Star Trek one signed by Deep Roy. Um, there was a Never Ending Story one signed by him. And there was a Star Wars one. Because he was inside the Yoda costume in quite a few scenes. Um, I got the Yoda autograph. I then did a trade and got the never ending story version I then did another trade and got the Star Trek version or I think I might have purchased it off eBay and this one I think was in the community and I can't remember, I think I brought this for about $11 and I asked Paul can I get it shipped to your address as it will be cheaper because we were starting to do a trade um, so it made more sense to get it shipped there where it was cheaper and Paul pops it in so we did that and that's here now so I've got all four of these which I'm really really happy about because I think they're really really good I did like the fact that I know who the character was in all four he's been in a shed load of films absolutely loads so definitely had to have that um, last few items we have um, Ki Chan, Senator Male D from Star Wars Episode 3, Revenge of the Sith. Um, it's JSA authenticated and he has signed it in, I don't want to get this wrong, it's either Chinese or Japanese. I would possibly guess Chinese but it does look really awesome. So that is the photo. And there is the autograph, which I think looks absolutely awesome, the fact that it's in Chinese or Japanese. I'd almost say Japanese, but I could be wrong. I have seen an autograph in Ch uh, Japanese before, but I, have, I absolutely have no idea if it is or not. But thank you very much. I am a big Star Wars fan. Um, so the fact I've got the Star Wars cards and this, that is absolutely brilliant. Thank you very much. There is another autograph. John Jason Lives, CJ Graham, Jason Six. That is absolutely awesome. Thank you very much. The autograph is there. It looks brilliant in silver. Um, Paul had a contest and one of the prizes was a Jason signed autograph as a con they were going to was going to have several of them there I said if I won I would go for CJ Graham as he is one that I've not really seen or heard of coming to the UK um, I think Kane Hodder has come over a few times um, I'm not sure about the others but I hadn't really heard of his name coming before and this is one of the first few Jason films I watched. I think it was the first actually. Um, so really happy with that. Thank you very much. That is really, really nice of you. We have a Captain N Game Master animation cell. That was from the band box not too long ago. Really happy with that. I've got maybe about seven or eight animation cells that I've got over the last 18 to 19 months since I joined the band box and I saw that they did these sort of things so 
I've got hold of a few because I really do like them. Um, especially as I've watched some of these cartoons in the past. We then have one from Sonic the Hedgehog. Which is Dr. Robotnik. That is really awesome. And at the back you can, with the certificate out of the way, you could see it better. But you've got the certificate there. And the sketch pit bit that was done in pencil is there. Which was then overlapped with the plastic so they could see it. And that is absolutely everything. I've shaved over 10 minutes off the video at the minute, so that's good. Thank you very much, Paul. Absolutely amazing. Love everything. My son was really happy with the things he got. He's looking forward to trying these sweets as well. Um, there was a tin of armour, pork and ham or chicken and pork, I think it was. I will be trying that, but that up there my son put it up there because that's where we put the meat in the cupboards or in the fridge so that's up there the other one was sardines in a mustard sauce they're supposed to be the ones from Marie unfortunately I don't eat sardines I'm not a big fan of fish and I definitely don't like mustard but I do know someone who will try them and I'm sure they will enjoy them so thank you to Marie or to Paul, who if Paul's trying to blame Marie for him putting something in. So, oh, and there was two big fake tarantula spiders, which my son has decided he wants them there on his display already because he likes spiders. So they've gone, he's put them on his display. I won't see them again, they're not mine. So I'd like to say thank you very much, Paul, for everything. It's been a pleasure to get to know you and become a friend. It's really good that we can do this trade and hopefully we can do something similar in the future. Um, to everyone out there watching, go and check out the Peep Geek. His link will be below. Thank you for watching and bye for now.